Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life. So in this video, I'll tell you how you can become a Salesforce developer in just three months and that too with the free resources. Only the certification cost is a little bit high, but that is not required by every single company that is asking for a Salesforce developer role. So no need to worry over that if you're a complete fresher. And if you're someone who is working somewhere, then you can easily afford that uh, certification cost. So yeah. I, I would say that if you're a complete fresher or someone who is working in a uh, service-based company and stuck in an, uh, in a worse kind of project that is not making you move anywhere, then I, I would definitely recommend you to uh, switch to Salesforce and start learning it. So I hope you guys watch this video till the end because I have listed every single thing that is required to become a Salesforce developer, like how you can apply, where you can find a job search. and. <clears throat> where you can study those skills, where you can practice and where you can apply for certification. So yep, this video is for you. So let's just talk about Salesforce. Salesforce is number one CRM platform. So what is CRM? CRM is customer relationship management. So Salesforce CRM allows the businesses to automate, organize and synchronize every feed of their customer. And businesses can be small or large. It can be anything. And mm, in simple words, I'd say Salesforce is a platform used by businesses to enhance the customer satisfaction. So now that you got some idea about Salesforce, so basically there is a lot of demand of Salesforce developer role, but there are very few people who are skilled into this particular job post. So if you're uh, looking for a job on LinkedIn or Indeed, I, I would definitely recommend you to search for Salesforce developer role and you'd see that in one month there are only four or five applicants of one particular jobs. So it is very easy to grab that job offer uh, for a complete fresher even. You can learn Salesforce from trailhead.com where you can find all the modules that are required to learn. So I would prefer you to start from Salesforce admin because uh, it's a basic pla platform of Salesforce wherein you need to learn the admin skills which are the basic functionalities of Salesforce. So start with the Salesforce admin modules then complete the Salesforce uh, development module. So if you are working in IT sector it won't require more than uh, 15 to 20 days for you to learn Salesforce admin then uh, go for the Salesforce developer which will uh, require you uh, like 1.5 months and that is one single platform wherein you can learn all the skills so i think that would be great for you and if you're a complete fresher it it, it would take um one month for salesforce admin and two to three months for salesforce developer and uh if you find those modules start learning them i can link the modules in description box below even the trailhead platform is linked in the description box below so you can completely check that out and one more thing that you need to do is uh, create an account on salesforce.com uh, like you can create an account for free there and check all the functionalities such as record type validation rules and creating a field how you can how you can check the object manager so all of these things that you can do on the salesforce.com platform so learning that you can do from salesforce trailhead and the th thing that you can practice it on is on the salesforce.com site so i hope i didn't confuse you guys so i it is just the two things are there the trailheaded.com and the salesforce.com so all the links are uh, in the description box below and if you're planning for certification in salesforce then you need to go to webssr.com slash salesforce wherein you can uh, plan or schedule your salesforce certification according to your preference and then you can give the exam and that is a later part i think for you and yeah, talking about where you can apply so you can apply it on Nokri or on LinkedIn and the biggest question is will I get the interview calls so I'd answer that question as well so if you search for Salesforce developer on LinkedIn you will see a lot of job posts out there but there is one thing that you can see on the job post is the number of applicants to search jobs are very less so uh, they, that makes a greater chances of you to get selected on the job and if you're applying for the companies such as uh, Deloitte Accenture or Salesforce itself then you get the interview calls if you have a one year of experience and if you are not experienced at all then uh, you still can learn those skills and apply at Accenture or Salesforce I was a uh, fresher out there and I was getting the job uh, interview calls for from those companies right now I'm working as a Salesforce data analyst wherein my skills are Salesforce admin and I have also learned the Salesforce development but I know the data analysis as well so I'm working as a Salesforce data analyst also if you're a YouTube fan uh, you, if you watch your all your tutorials on YouTube then you can search for Apex R or Salesforce Hulk they have created a 
a like great playlist for uh, Salesforce and you can learn those skills from them. So yeah, one more thing before applying to the job post of Salesforce developer is that uh, please make a killer resume for your uh, job of Salesforce because that will grab the uh, recruiter's attention and increase your chances to get selected in the particular role. So always make sure to have a great resume before applying to any kind of job post that you are doing. So yeah, and uh, uh, if you see the job post on uh, LinkedIn for Salesforce development, you will see that very few applicants apply for the job post because of the high demand and low skills, uh, low skill person. So yeah, this will definitely increase your chances uh, to get the job, job offer and wish you guys luck. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you all and yeah, stay tuned. Bye bye.